This fourth grade math smart board game pack has 16 very fun engaging games that are self-checking. I try to run through them very quickly for you. In this angle smart board game, students will answer questions about rays, lines, line segments, and such. They will also measure angles and estimate the size of angles. If they answer correctly, a correct page will appear. If they answer incorrectly, an oops page will appear. In the area and perimeter game, students will calculate area and perimeter by counting centimeter squares by using algorithms. They will also calculate the missing side of an area or perimeter problem and answer word problems that include area and perimeter. Students touch the spaceship to self-check their answers. In the data sets game, students will solve problems involving median, range, maximum, minimum, and so forth. To check their answers, they touch the cupcake. Word problems are also included. In the division facts game, three fun games are provided to help students practice their fact fluency with division. The first is beat the clock. Students use a timer and touch the circles to see how fast they can answer all the facts. The second game is Candyland. Students place their own piece of candy on start, touch the random number generator, and go that number of places. On some problems, they must click and be directed to another page to solve a word problem. The first to reach the end wins. The last game is Hungry Monkeys, which is kind of like checkers, but it's actually the fox and hound game. Two monkeys are one team, and the ice cream sundae is another team. The two monkeys can only move diagonally to the right, solving the division problems, but the sundae can move left and right. In order for the monkeys to win, they must trap the sundae where it can no longer make a move. In order for the Sunday to win, it must make it to the other side of the game board. Instructions are provided on the bottom to help students remember how to play this fun game. The long division game allows students to practice division through three games. The first is long division, just where students traditionally calculate the problem and solve by checking the multiplication. The second game is word problem long division, where students must also check and decide what they need to do with the remainder. The last game is Mental Math Division, where students can see how fast they can solve the 10 Mental Math Division problems. In Far Out Fractions, students compare fractions, compare fractions to a benchmark of 1 half, find the fraction that is equivalent, find the correct fraction that will make the equation equal to 1, add and subtract mixed numbers with like denominator, and solve word problems containing fractions. To self-check answers, students touch the right planet and it will spin. This Geometry Monkey game is actually free in my TPT store. It just contains a ton of multiple choice questions about geometry covering lines, angles, shapes, and more. In the measurements game, students will practice making conversions with the United States customary units of capacity, length, and weight, and also units in the metric system. A key is provided to help students with abbreviations. Word problems are also included, and for students to self-check their answer, they just need to touch the right rocket ship and it will blast off. In the multiple and factors game, students will practice making factor rainbows and playing with multiple rockets. A help page is provided to make the factor rainbow. To play, students click on a rainbow, then they drag down factor pairs on each side, they connect the factor pairs with different colors of markers and then check the yellow box to check their answer. To practice multiple, students touch a rocket ship. They will search for five rockets that contain multiples of the number in the center of the page. If the number is a multiple, its rocket will fly off. If not, it will stay still. Students earn a point for each multiple rocket they find. In addition and subtraction robots, there are three different games. In the first game, students practice solving traditional addition and subtraction problems. In the second game, they solve word problems involving addition and subtraction. They self-check by touching the robot. The third game is addition and subtraction mental math. Students see how well they can solve all of the mental math problems. In the multi-digit multiplication game, there are four games to practice multiplication. The first is practicing extended multiplication problems. The second is solving traditional multiplication problems and touching the bullseye to check their answers. In the third game, they solve problems that involve estimation and multiplication. 
And in the last game, they solve word problems that involve multi-digit multiplication. In the multiplication facts file, there are four games that are very similar to those of the division facts games. The first is Beat the Clock, where they use the timer to see how fast they can solve all of the multiplication facts. The second is Candy Bump, and you may already know how to play this game. Students pick their own colored candy to play. When it's their turn, they touch the two random generators and solve the multiplication problem. They place their candy on that product. If another person also lands on that product, they put their candy on top and they have locked that space. Nobody else can be on that space. The person who ends up being on the most amount of products wins the game. Hungry Monster follows the same rules as Hungry Monkeys in the Division Facts game. And Candyland is also in the same format, but it just involves multiplication fact problems and not division. In the place value game, students compare numbers of up to seven digits by erasing the correct number. They also write the correct numeral for the number words and erase the big orange circle to check their answer. In one activity, they read the instructions carefully, they place an X on one digit, a circle on another, and they underline the place of another digit. To check their answer, they erase the big orange circle. They also write the number words for a numeral presented, and they erase the big orange circle to check their answer. In the rounding with the stars game, a nice little tip is provided. Five or more, let it soar. Four or less, let it rest. Students read the instructions carefully and rewrite the number rounded to the correct place. To check their answer, they touch the star. Rounding and estimation word problems are provided. In one activity, students will sort numbers depending on whether they will have to round up or let the number rest. They click on check to see how many numbers they answered correctly. And that's it. If you're interested in this resource, just click on the link down below this video or you can find it at my TP store called Flapjack Educational Resources. Here at the Flapjack channel, there are a lot of teacher tips, freebies, and resources, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks so much for what you do as a teacher. You are very much appreciated. Thanks so much for being here. Bye-bye.